Home, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. Seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are cloudy like today. Hello everyone, Ozark Hills Rider here. And for the next three days, I am going to be in the Jasper and Punk, Arkansas area. And I uh, got my new bike, my CB500X, and I'm going to be trying to get some content for y'all. And I am at the Steel Creek Campgrounds right now. And uh, <laughs> there's nobody here. 26 campsites. And I'm the only person here. But I picked this spot because look at the backdrop. Roark Bluff. Either Roark or Rourke. One of those. Runs right along the Buffalo National River. All the way. All the way down through there. This is going to be my campsite. So I'm going to get it set up so I can unload my bike and do some riding. May not have been the smartest idea to set the tent up on the east end of the camping area when the wind is coming from that way. So I've had to use some ropes to keep this thing from caving in. I'm trying out a new camping mattress. Small enough to carry on the bike. All right, let's head to my camp. Not recommended for buses or RVs. You will see why <laughs> when you see this road, we got to go down. It is all paved, camping only, no RVs or campers. No RVs or campers, yeah. Well, let's talk about Steel Creek campgrounds. Uh, better close my visor. It is on the Buffalo National River. Uh, the Buffalo River runs 135 miles, mostly runs from west to east. And um, it is one of very few, oh, look at that. One of very few rivers in the lower 48 states that does not have any type of dam built on it. And I don't mean like a huge power plant dam. I'm talking like back when they were building sawmills and flour mills along the rivers. And they would dam the river up so they could get the water to turn their wheels and grinders and stuff. This river does not have a dam built on it. Look at these curves. My brakes got hot on my Dodge coming down here. But there's two sides to this campground. When you get to the bottom and go to the left, there is 26 campsites for tents. Tents only. And uh, through the summer, it's 20 bucks a night. There is water, uh, water spouts all along the road where you park so you can get water at any time. And there's water in the bathrooms, a toilet and a sink. But as I mentioned earlier, um, from the beginning or from the middle of November to the middle of March, there is no charge to camp here, but they also shut the water off because of winter. Uh, they still provide a good porta john bathroom, which is actually they're pretty nice. 
well i mean for a porta john it's not like one of those well they're not a porta john they are a built bathroom and uh they even have hand sanitizer for you to use Tent camping to the left, horse camping to the right. There's the Roark Bluffs. Roark or Rourke. I have not even looked down here on this side. So I'm guessing they have water and electric for each of these. Horse campers only. Each one of those poles, horse campers only. Limit six people to a campsite. Oh, we got the park service down here. 40? That was number 40? Well, there wasn't 40 of them. They must continue counting from the 26 that's on the other side. I could live here. Yeah. Sure could. Visitor information and ranger station. See, I didn't even know that was here because I've never come on this side. Now, the, I talked to a guy when I first got here who works there. He was in one of those white trucks. He said this bathroom right there where I'm heading to, it still has water because it is heated. So he said if I wanted to, to use a heated bathroom, I could come down here and use this side. Oh, this goes right down by the river. I asked him if there was a trail up on top of these bluffs and he said no. I thought I read somewhere that there was, that you could cross the river somewhere down here and walk a trail across the top of them. But the park guy said no there's there's not a trail up there he says there's horse trails that will cross that's probably one here that'll cross back and forth the river several times but nothing to get you up on those bluffs there we go I'm gonna take a bath in that tonight 40 degrees outside no I'm lying I'm not <laughs> I may not take a bath for the next three days. I'm camping in a tent. There's a good swimming hole right there. Horse campers only to camp on this side. Um, the Buffalo River, the full length of it is 135 miles. Starts out west, northwest. Arkansas and it runs east into the White River here is the beginning of the campsites walking camping only no RVs or campers there is my campsite yeah I brought a huge tent <laughs> I can stand up in that and change clothes Got me firewood for a fire. But this is where you park. All the campsites are to the right. There's those water spouts I was talking about. There are different places up through here. But they're turned off for right now. This is the bathroom I have to use right now. 
But the guy was cleaning it. The park guy was cleaning it when I was talking to him. That's the one that has running water, but it's closed. No running water. And I got trash. I've already gathered some firewood. I don't know where that goes. Oh, this would have been a fun place to camp. I just camped on the west side because of the, the bluffs behind me. Oh, okay, it just ends here. Well, this is still Creek Campgrounds. If you come here in the summer, which I have, this place is packed. I, I've seen this so full that I don't even know if you could get another car parked here. There was that many cars here. I'm going to park for right now. Oh, I see one. I see a cow. Or a stump, one or the other. Cow, elk. That's what I meant. That is an elk on that tree line over there. See it? Can you see it? Jasper and at the end of the day I will drive 14 miles just so I can eat at the Ozarks Cafe or Ozark Cafe Okay, the park personnel told me these were open. Oh, they are. Oh. We got running water. Cool enough.
there is still nobody here but me down here all by myself nobody else the wild animals and the wild people and a fire and a motorcycle and a tent and a few things to keep me safe oh listen I think you hear a wild animal I want to go home.